Hello everyone and welcome back to part 3 of The Walking Dead Survival Instinct, whatever I'm going to be calling this part. Are you a lurker? No. Okay, so last time we left the Garwater campground and now we're going to uh, go through Fontana and rescue Marl from jail. Where else would he be? So, okay, we're going to clear this here parking lot. And what I'm going to do is I've put my revolver away. I put it in the truck. And the reason for that, uh, you'll see in a minute. There's a uh, little hidden goodie here. Ah, where'd you come from? No. Thank you. Ah, I like that animation. You can see the knife in its mouth. Like right there. And now, okay. Do I, yeah, I have a crossbow. I can deal with you. Uh, I'm going to run over here and T-Dog the fence because there's a bunch of them in here and I need them to not get in here. Now, okay, now the way you're supposed to go is through this fence, but a good thing to do is to jump up here, kill you, kill this sitting guy. I have a feeling earlier in development there was a prop he was leaning against. Ignore that assault rifle ammo because I'm too cool for assault rifles. Jump up here and get the high-powered handgun. Thank you. And let's see, do I have ammo for it? Yes, I do. Guns in this game, I haven't really showed them yet. Guns in this game, when they don't explode heads instantly, are extremely satisfying. I'll show you what I mean. Hey, guys. Yo. You over there. Okay, yeah, you noticed me. Bang. Bang. I don't know if it really comes across in the video, but it's extremely satisfying, the headshots. Like, there's... I don't know if it's in the controls or the animation or what, but there's a distinct little pop, and I, I just love it so much. Di oh, wow, well, I missed. Okay, time for the crossbow. Death. Smack. Death. Okay, let's check on these guys. I say you guys owe me. Well, from you. He's a little too... <sighs> I went into this joke without anything to say, and now... Just... We're just both disappointed. Okay. So, now I have to go across the street to the movie theater, find Scout's friend, and get back here. Death. Death. I really need to come up with some other walker killing lines. Like... It's just been revoked. I haven't seen anything from that movie other than that. Okay. Cross the street, cross the street, into here. For some reason, most doors are unbreakable. Like, there's only like three door models in the game, and like, one out of three is unbreakable. I mean, one out of three is breakable. It's really weird. Like, this won't break, uh, this kind won't break, but the standard wooden door will. I don't know why. Yeah, you can pretty much guess which ones will be lurkers. I, I used to have this theory. The first couple of times I played this, I thought that, uh, bodies on the ground with flies around them won't be lurkers, but that ended up not being the case. Die, die. Hi, Mia. Are you a lurker? I don't know. Are you? No. You are? No. There's usually one around here. Huh. Okay, what uh, just happened there was Fraps stopped recording. Uh, it, I don't know, if you watched my Joe's Unleashed playthrough, uh, you know that Fraps was being a huge jerk during that. Uh, it's being less of a jerk now in this game, I don't know why, but... Um, what I'm gonna do, I think, is I'm gonna start recording these in 720p, because that's what I'm uploading them in anyway. Uh, I've been recording in 1080p, and it just seems like it does better. Hey. Get back here. Get away from you, asshole. I ain't the asshole you're worried about. Who are you, then? I'm a different one. Okay, now I'm going to go down there in a minute, but first, what I'm going to do is I have to get back to Scout and tell her that her friend's okay. Okay, I have my gun out for this, because I don't know how this is going to go. This, honestly, it varies so much depending on just the situation. So I'm pretty much just going to throw this door open and sprint across the street, hoping for the best. Eh. Okay, not getting in that door. Okay. 
It's important, I've noticed, to close the door when you leave the first time, because if you don't, this place will be invested when you get back, and that's a really bad situation. Oh, she took off. Okay, well, thanks for the car. That's all I care about. And for the machete. I think these people, uh, I've noticed these posters always correspond to um, a unique body that's nearby. Uh, and I heard, I'm not sure about this, but I heard that there was some kind of contest or something, and that's who these people are. I, I wouldn't be surprised, like the Telltale game, uh, which if you haven't played the Telltale game, uh, it's in Season 2 right now, I highly recommend it, it's great. It's more story focused. Um, they did something similar where a lot of the unique zombies in that game are contest winners. How am I getting out of this? Okay, ready to use the last of my ammo. Die. Kill. Death. Miss. Uh, run. Is there one behind me? I don't know, but duck into here. Eh. Okay, and I don't know if Mia's gonna be here when I get back. I don't know if she is or not. You still here? Oh no, look at that, you're magic. Oh well, better get down there. Did I just take up another? No. You gotta be careful not to pick up too many. Uh, the maximum uh, number of things in a stack is nine, but you can pick up more, but it'll spill over into another stack. Okay, might as well use ammo. Since you're all already up. Okay, now this is what I like about the... Uh, Oh, you dead. Nope, nope. Okay, I need to back out of this. I did not think this through. I'm going to show you what I like about the machete once we're down to just one of these. Ah, I might die. I might die. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Back up, back up, back up. Stop switching weapons. I hate having this as the middle mouse button. Grab the stuff. Oh god, this is getting bad. This is getting bad. Okay, you. You're my guinea pig. What I like about the machete, it's one slice, one power throw, and you can just slice his head clean off. I love that. I, that's why I can't wait to... I, I kind of think... Hmm. I don't know if that chance came up yet. I don't know if this is... Can I... I seriously can't remember if that's before or after this, but you do um, get a fire axe at the hospital. That's why I'm probably not going to have a choice for that part. I'm just going to go to the hospital because I really want that thing. Perhaps just lagged again. Did I get all my bolts? I think I did. Okay. But, uh, time to heal up. I swear this is not a Mountain Dew commercial. Set across the street. This thing is a trap, or I'm pretty sure it is. I've never been able to confirm it. See those zombies over there? I sometimes check this thing to see if it's a lurker, and I'm pretty sure if you hit him, try, or try to hit him, it'll set off this car alarm and bring a bunch of them down on top of you. I can't confirm if that's what actually happens or not, because this level just does have ambient car alarms, but I'm pretty sure it does. Alright, let's clear this back alley here. Oh, come on. Yeah, that bolt's gone forever. I really wish Braps wasn't such a jerk. Alright, let's go in and see where Merle is. Dixon! Dixon! None of those lurkers? I could swear everything in this hallway is supposed to be a lurker. Instead, there was only the one. Out of my way, buddy. I'm looking for Merle. I hate these office cubicle sections. There's a surprising number of office cubicles in this game, but they're always so confusing. Much like in real life. I don't know. I've never worked at an office. I'm pretty sure they're confused. Yeah, no, 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 no. Because, yeah, because my mom used to work in one, and, like, I used to play in there, and it is the most maze-like how do you people work in these things? How? Hey guys. Okay, let's go find Merle. I wonder if he has anything to do with the shooter on the rooftop. We've never seen Merle be a shooter on a rooftop before. Die.
You know, Marley, you didn't do a very good job of cleaning this area out. Oh, no! Sneak it up, are we? No, no, no! You're never gonna take me back there! Oh, come on, Merle! It's me! Merle! What lower than impersonating a man's long-lost baby brother? You're just trying to gain false entry! That's what you're doing! Damn it, Merle! I'm just gonna leave you here. Keep your pants on, sweetheart. I like this place down pretty good. Them people lock me up for days in the dark with all them abominations. But looky who's just a little bit too smart for them. Bro, you're stir-fried from the sun and the booze and whatever else you've been into. Uh, I do feel a little warm now that you mention it. I sprang myself, see? Established my little sniper's nest right here. And then I commenced to sending them soldiers a packing. I rang the alarms, calling in the abomination. Man, those aren't soldiers down there. Just some scavengers trying to help people out. They don't even know who you are. They're in uniform, ain't they? And they came to take me back to the hole. I'm not going anywhere but Jake's, and that's where you're gonna take me. Come on. Let's go, you ape. Guess I gotta lug your thick ass back across town. Man, you must be running over 106. My chair! Yeah, it'll be here when you come back. Okay, so that's the end of that level. Uh, Mia joined us. She's coming with us. We also have a new car, so we have the space, and uh, I think it's a little more fuel efficient. Normally, I wouldn't just show a full cutscene like that without saying anything. Normally, I'd cut things like that, but I just... It's one of the best cutscenes in any game ever. It just serves as the perfect introduction to Merle. So, I, I, I just couldn't cut it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in part four.